so today we're going to be going over the top 10 upcoming Roblox anime games. Now, I do believe that all of these games are supposed to come out in 2024, but you really never know with these Roblox games because they really are inconsistent with the release dates. Some of the games are confirmed to be coming in a month or two, so it's definitely not all bad. Now, this list is based on my own personal preferences and also the games I've just looked at the most. So if there is a game that's genuinely good in your opinion and I missed it, definitely make sure to let me know. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Now, the first honorable mention before the actual top 10 has got to be Jujutsu Infinite. And a big part of the reason Jujutsu Infinite is part of the honorable mentions and not the actual top 10 is simply because it kind of already released. The game was selling tester, but they're really just selling early access to the game for $30. But Jujutsu Infinite is obviously a Jujutsu Kaisen game and it honestly has a lot of potential. The combat is really smooth and really fluid and I honestly really like the combat. Now, my main problem with Jujutsu Infinite is the PvE and progression. And I think most people can agree with that. The last time I personally played Jujutsu Infinite, the whole progression and PvE in the game was simply a quest board which would TP you to a different quest depending on which one you pick. Now that might not sound like a problem, but where it becomes a problem in my opinion is it doesn't really feel like an open world game. It might as well not have the open world aspect of the game in my opinion. But if Jujutsu Infinite is able to expand on the RPG elements and the open world elements of their game, I really do believe it could be a great game and easily in the top 5 of this year. Now the next honorable mention has got to be Venture. Venture is honestly a really great game from what I can see. Obviously we haven't seen that much of the game, but we got a combat trailer and a normal trailer. And definitely the biggest highlight to me has got to be the graphics. The graphics are to the point where you could tell somebody this game is not on Roblox and people would believe you. Now there's definitely still a lot of question marks around progression and things of that nature. And the main reason it's an honorable mention compared to actually being on the list is simply because it's not technically an anime game. And the last honorable mention, which would be Divas of Creation, is literally an honorable mention for the same reason. Divas of Creation is an open world RPG game that honestly looks really good from what I've seen so far. But they've already shown us a lot of really cool things like a pet or mount system. They've shown us a lot of PvP for the game and just a lot of good things overall. It's simply not here because it's not an anime game, but let's get into the top 10. Now coming in at 10, it's gotta be Golden Piece Adventure and it is a One Piece game. And honestly, if Rail Seas didn't exist, Golden Piece would probably be higher on this list. Now one of the best parts about Golden Piece in my opinion is gotta be the way they make underrated fruits look cool. For example, there's this fruit called the Cube Cube Fruit and you guys probably don't even remember what that is, but the Cube Cube Fruit, they actually did really well in the game. Now they also just have really good models like this Kaido model I'll probably put on screen right now. But the main reason I'm personally interested in Golden Piece is simply because Golden Piece is a story based game with story based progression, which in theory means it probably won't be a bandit beater, which is something I'm personally looking forward to playing. Now, once we see more from Golden Piece, like actual progression or actual PvP, I'll definitely be able to move it up the list. Now, coming in at number nine for me has got to be Grand Clover. Now, a lot of people have actually told me Grand Clover deserves to be higher, closer to like the top five. And to be honest, I haven't looked at Grand Clover that in depthly, so I still can't really decide if it deserves to be that high, but for now, it's going to be at nine. But everything I have seen about Grand Clover looks good. It's a black clover game with good visuals, so I know it's already going to perform well. And by perform well, I mean in terms of player count, but I definitely do think the game looks solid. Even the PvP does look decent. I'm not completely buying into the Grand Clover hype just yet, but once I actually play the game, I'll let you guys know what I think. Now, the next game at number eight has got to be Jump Warrior Z, which is kind of a mix of all animes. Now, Jump Warrior Z is actually one of the few games I've gotten to play and test, so I do definitely know a lot more about it compared to the other games. And for that reason, it's getting a slight edge, but the game overall was actually really fun. You essentially pick a class like an attacker or a ranger, and you're able to get different weapons and different abilities from different anime characters for that class. So for example, you could get a Broly move, and then you could get a Yamcha move, and then you could get a Naruto move, and then you could get a Sasuke move, and things like that. And you're able to make a lot of unique builds in PvE and PvP. Now, unfortunately, the game is not open world. If the game was an open world game, I honestly think it could be like top five, but it's just not. But overall, the only thing I think Jump Warrior Z is missing is just more content. But the next game coming in at number seven has got to be Beyond Nen. And Beyond Nen is one of the only up and coming Hunter x Hunter game. But the owner Decay did let me hop in the game for a little bit on stream and it did look pretty good from what I've seen. Now I didn't get to use any Nen abilities but the game seems to have a pretty complex system so some people are gonna like that and some people aren't. I still haven't seen enough to say Beyond Nen is guaranteed gonna be a good game but it definitely has potential to be something really great. And regardless I do think it will do really good player count wise because it is the only only hunter hunter game i've seen as of recently and as really good graphics but the game coming in at number six is actually releasing on february 17th and it's a pokemon type game called tales of tenorio now this game was actually initially being made with real pokemon from the actual pokemon games but they actually got a threat from the nintendo official company to get taken down so they had to make all the pokemon in the game custom completely from scratch and now visually the game does look really good and it also has cool things like the characters have voice lines and things like that now the only realistic way i could could see this 
this game failing is if there just wasn't a lot of content. But Tales of Tenorio is an official Roblox game fund game, meaning they do have a lot of funding, so they should be alright in my opinion, we just have to wait and see though. And honestly, I think Tales of Tenorio would be even higher on my list if there wasn't another Pokemon type game that I think is even better, or I, I guess I'm just a bit more excited for. But at number 5, I got Clover RPG. Now Clover RPG is another Black Clover game, but I've actually gotten to test and see how good this game actually is. And honestly, mechanically, I really enjoyed Clover RPG. There was really only two problems in my opinion. The first problem was, although the game does feel mechanically really good, it doesn't feel at all like Black Clover. It doesn't even feel like I'm playing a Black Clover game, and I feel like it needs a lot more things from the actual show. Now, to be fair, they did say the game is more of inspired by Black Clover, but I still do believe they should add a lot more things from Black Clover, like places on the map or something like that. And the only other problem was there needs to be a lot more content, but obviously that was a beta of the game. It wasn't the full game, so there will be a lot more content. Now, I also do want to say for this entire list, the games are kind of loosely arranged in order. Like if Tales of Tenorio ended up being better than Clover RPG, I wouldn't be surprised. It's simply because I've actually played Clover RPG, which is why I'm giving it the advantage. But the game coming at number four might actually never come out, and that game is Anime Legends. So for this ranking for Anime Legends, there's a really big if, and that if is if the game's actually being developed and the game actually comes out. Now, we did get a second trailer for Anime Legends somewhat recently, but that really isn't enough to, com to convince me that the game is really being developed. And that's mainly because that trailer was already six months ago, and we haven't gotten anything since. And the only time I actually see them talk about the game or give any information on the game is when the game is actually being pressured by the public. But for you youngins that haven't heard about the 10,000 years we've been waiting for Anime Legends, it's essentially like a multiverse of different animes. I guess like imagine an open world game with bosses and whatnot from different animes and abilities from different animes. Now I've seen Anime Legends on the best upcoming games of 2022, the best upcoming games of 2023, and now it's on the best upcoming games of 2024. So maybe third time is the charm and the game actually releases, we'll just have to wait and see. But regardless, Anime Legends has pretty much infinite potential, it just depends on if the game actually ever comes out. And if the Anime Legends team or the Block Zone team is actually seeing this, just so you guys know, if you don't start giving us more info soon, I'ma have to make Anime Legends myself then. But now we enter the big three of Roblox anime games, and to me, the gap between the big three and every other game coming out this year is huge. Like, if any of these games ended up being bad, I'd be so surprised. And honestly, I don't really care what order you have them in, they're all really good games in their own right but this better be everybody's top three i'm gonna be so real and with that being said coming in at number three has got to be for me pocket anime now it pains me to even put pocket anime at three so i almost want to say this is almost in no order but it is in order but pocket anime is another pokemon type game but with characters from all different animes so like you could catch luffy or naruto or ichigo or goku and things like that and this alone gives pocket anime so much potential it's stupid just that concept would be amazing but the game even besides that looks amazing the graphics for the game look insanely good the moves for the game look insanely good normally in pokemon games are just like small animations or have no animations but in this game they have individual animations for every single move and that's so crazy to me because even triple a studios like nintendo doesn't even do that for the pokemon game now if you do like pokemon or turn-based games in general you're definitely gonna like pocket anime but even if you don't definitely still give it a try because it is gonna be really good i'm telling you now the only thing i'm worried about for pocket anime is i'm worried about it getting taken down for dmca because it really seems like it is gonna eventually and the big problem with that is even if they do change the character style if they change it too much it's gonna make the game not even feel the same anymore so if they can find a balance where the characters look different enough that they don't get in trouble but still similar enough that the game feels like the anime and feels like the anime characters are really dumb then i think we'll be chilling and we'll be eating good and now coming in at number two for literally no one's surprise is holy war x and honestly i think the main thing that holds holy war x is the fact that it's a seven deadly sins game because for me personally i really don't care it's simply because the game looks amazing in my opinion, Holy War X has the best graphics on the Roblox platform, and all the game mechanics look just as good. And now everything Alphrex has shown publicly has been really good, but I did get fortunate enough to see some private things, and the things they're cooking up is insane, and y'all just gotta wait and see. Now I'm pretty sure it's obvious what's at number one, and that is Fruit Warriors 2. My fault, let me stop before someone actually believes that, but at number one is obviously Rail Seas for me. I mean, half my channel is based on the game. Now I've seen a lot of people not really understand why Rail Seas is so hyped up, so let me explain it to you briefly. The first thing is just gotta be the pure amount of content that's gonna be in the game it's releasing with like 32 fruits and the amount of content that's most likely gonna be in the game on release is also really crazy and the main reason i say that is because the pure amount of sneaks we've gotten from different islands different bosses and different things like that is crazy and there literally has to be a lot of content assuming that stuff is really in the actual game but the main reason people are really so excited for rail seas is it's really gonna feel like a real one piece game that means things like fruits are gonna be hard to get not everybody just gonna be running around with the fruit that means for progression
progression, you're not just going to be beating bandits for some reason in a circle, in a different circle, then a different circle with different scenery around. You're actually going to be doing things like that feel like One Piece, like ship combat, and overall just a bunch of different progression options compared to just beating bandits in a circle. And One Piece is probably the most popular anime, so it makes sense that there's so much anticipation behind Rail Seas. Honestly, Rail Seas has too many things to explain in just one video or one portion of a video, but if you guys are interested, definitely look at my channel. I have a bunch of content on it. Either way, though, that concludes my personal top 10. Let me know what your guys' top 10s are, or if there's just any games I missed or any games you would have put higher or just a different order. If you guys wouldn't mind hitting the like and subscribe button, it helps the channel a lot more than you guys even know, and it helps me, you know, keep making these videos, so I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Later.